So we're going to solve these equations today. The first thing you want to do is combine like terms. That's what I like to do. So in this top left one, 8y plus 15y equals 138. 8y plus 15y is 23y. And that's going to equal 138. So 23y means 23 times y. So we're going to divide both sides by 23. So definitely get out your calculator for this. Divide both sides by 23. And 138 divided by 23 is 6. And we really have 1y equals 6, but we're just going to write y equals 6. And that step right here, you really don't even need to write down. Clear that out. So the next one, negative 7x minus 7x equals negative 112. Well, negative 7x minus a negative 7x is a negative 14x. So we have negative 14x, or four, negative 14 times x equals negative 112. Be careful with the negatives. So when we divide both sides by negative 14, make sure that, hey, do a mental check that the negative divided by negative is going to be a positive. So one, negative 112 divided by 14 is 8. The next one, we have 8x minus 6x minus 4x equals a negative 14. So 8 minus 6 is 2x. So And you can do all this in one step. 2x minus 4x equals negative 14. 2x minus a negative 4x, that's going to equal a negative 2x. So we have negative 2x equals negative 14. Then we can divide both sides by negative 2. And this time, I'm going to use the obulus. I typically don't do that, but let's use the obulus. Divide both sides by negative 2. And we have x equals 7 as our answer. Now the next one. We have 2x plus 6x minus 5 equals 11. We have a couple options. You can combine like terms first, or we can get rid of that negative 5 and move it to the other side. I like to combine like terms first that are on the same side. So the 2x plus 6x is 8x. So let's write that one again. 8x minus 5 equals 11. And now it should look like a question you did a few days ago. We're going to... Get rid of, the, rid of the stuff that's on the same side of the letter by not touching it. That's negative 5. So we're going to add 5 to both sides. That would give us 8x equals 16. 8x, of course, means 8 times x. So we're going to divide both sides by 8. Again, I'll use the obvious this time. And that would give us x equals 2. Note, for all these questions, we can check our answer. I may do that for the very last one. Uh, next one, we have 30 equals 7x plus 5x minus 2x. I'm going to combine like terms first, which is the 7x and the negative 2x. Be careful, it's not 9x. But 7x minus 2x is going to be 5x. So we have 30 equals 5x plus 5. Now we're going to go to the stuff that's on the same side of the letter, but not touching it. That's the positive 5. The opposite of a positive 5 is the negative 5. So we subtract 5 on both sides. That gives us 25 equals 5x. 5x, of course, means 5 times x. So the opposite is division. Divide both sides by 5. And that gives us x equals 5 as our answer. On this last one, remember that b is the same thing as 1b. So I'm just going to put down the 1b there. Uh, so 1b and a positive 3b, we're combining like terms. 1b and a positive 3b make 4b. We'll put them together. So you have 4b minus 7 equals 30. This one we're going to end up with a fraction for the answer. I already can tell. Get rid of the stuff that's on the same side of the letter by not touching it. That's the negative 7. So the opposite of the negative 7 is a positive 7. Add 7 to both sides. That gives us 4b equals 37. Divide both sides by 4. And that would give us b equals 37 over 4 as your answer. And if you used your calculator, it may also give you an equivalent decimal, which would be 9.25. If it doesn't say which one to use, either answer should be acceptable. So if you have any kind of questions about that, please don't hesitate to ask your math teacher.